malonic ester is basically a diester. Now, if we take a malonic ester and hydrolyze it, either under acidic or basic conditions, we produce a diacid known as malonic acid. Now, if we gently heat the malonic acid, a decarboxylation reaction will take place and will produce our carbon dioxide molecule as well as an acetic acid. And this is what we're going to focus on in this lecture. This entire process, the hydrolysis and decarboxylation of malonic ester into carbon dioxide and acetic acid is known as malonic ester synthesis. So let's begin by examining the reaction mechanism of the hydrolysis of malonic ester into our malonic acid under acidic conditions. But notice that we can also use basic conditions. So this is what our malonic ester actually looks like. We have these two ester groups and that's why this is known as a diester. Now under acidic conditions, we basically mix the malonic ester with the hydronium acid. And the hydronium acid acts to protonate either this or this oxygen, so let's say this oxygen, to produce this strong Lewis acid. Now the strong Lewis acid is resin stable and it can react with the water molecule produced in step number one. The water acts as a nucleophile, creating a bond between the oxygen and the carbon, displacing this pi bond, placing it onto this oxygen, and we produce this tetrahedral intermediate that contains a positive charge on the oxygen. So, because this is a destabilizing effect, we don't want a positive charge on the electronegative oxygen, we undergo reaction 3 in which a uh, water molecule basically deprotonates this oxygen to form this more stable tetrahedral intermediate. Now, because the entire purpose is to replace this alkoxide group with a hydroxyl group, we basically want to protonate this oxygen to transform this poor leaving group into a good leaving group. So in step number four, a hydronium that is produced in step number three acts to protonate this oxygen on the alkoxide to form the good leaving group, our alcohol. And in step five, a pi bond is formed between this oxygen and this carbon kicking off our good leaving group, the alcohol, forming this molecule. Now in step number six, if we deprotonate this H by using a water, we produce this molecule that contains one ester group and one carboxylic acid group. Now if we repeat the same exact six steps, but now we use this ester instead of this ester, we basically produce our malonic acid. So let's take a look at these six steps. So basically now, instead of protonating this oxygen, we protonate this oxygen to produce the strong Lewis acid. So this is analogous to this. Next, we use oxygen to attack this carbon nucleophilically, producing the tetrahedral intermediate anion, or actually cation, that contains this positive charge on the oxygen. So we deprotonate the oxygen to form this tetrahedral intermediate. Next, we use hydronium to protonate this oxygen of the alkoxide to transform it into a good leaving group, our alcohol. In step 11, a pi bond is is reformed in the same way that the pi bond was reformed here in step number four, as the pi bond is actually step number five, and as the pi bond is reformed, we kick off the good leaving group, our alcohol, to form this molecule, and finally a water molecule deprotonates the H off of our oxygen to form this malonic acid. So in the first six steps, we transform one of these esters into a carboxylic acid. And in the second six steps, we transform the second ester uh, group into this carboxylic acid. And we produce the malonic acid from our malonic ester. And these first 12 steps basically are the hydrolysis steps. So this is hydrolysis under acidic conditions. 
Now, in the next step, we have the rotation of this bond taking place. When this bond rotates, this hydroxy group ends up on this side, and this carbon-oxygen double bond ends up pointing downward. So we form the following molecule, and now, when this hydroxide is close to this carbon-oxygen double bond, we have a decarboxylation reaction taking place if we gently heat this rotated malonic acid. So basically, this pi bond breaks off bonds to our hydrogen. This sigma bond breaks off and forms a pi bond between the oxygen and the carbon, breaking off this carbon-carbon sigma bond, forming a carbon-carbon sigma bond between these two carbons. So we form the carbon dioxide, as shown, as well as our enol. Now, this enol can equilibrate with its uh, acetic acid counterpart. So basically, if our hydronium present in the mixture under acidic conditions protonates this carbon, we produce the following molecule. So a pi bond is formed between this oxygen and carbon, and this bond basically grabs our H off of the hydronium, forming water, as well as this intermediate. And then in a final step, step 14, the water deprotonates this oxygen, placing the two electrons onto our oxygen, onto our oxygen and forming this final product, our acetic acid. So we see that malonic ester synthesis is basically the process by which we hydrolyze malonic ester, either under acidic or basic conditions, to form malonic acid, and then if we gently heat it, the decarboxylation reaction will lead to the carbon dioxide as well as our acetic acid. Now, enol will basically equilibrate, and this equilibrium will shift to the acetic acid side because acetic acid is more stable than our enol counterpart. So let's take, a, uh, let's take a look at the overview. So let's summarize what we just said. Malonic ester synthesis is the process by which we hydrolyze malonic ester either on the basic or acidic conditions to form malonic acid. Malonic acid is then gently heated and it undergoes the decarboxylation reaction to form carbon dioxide as well as acetic acid. Now, as always, we can also allow the malonic ester to undergo the alkylation reaction. So, if we take our malonic ester, notice that it contains two acidic alpha hydrogens. So, if we alkylate it at the alpha position, we basically convert this malonic ester into a dialkylated malonic ester, as shown. And then, if we hydrolyze it, and then it undergoes a decarboxylation reaction, we produce a slightly more complicated version of the acetic acid in which these two H groups on our alpha carbon have been replaced with our hydrocarbon R group. So we still produce the carbon dioxide by now. This is slightly more complicated than this. So we see that malonic ester synthesis is the process by which we hydrolyze and then decarboxylate our malonic ester into some type of acetic acid as well as our carbon dioxide. So we can either have the simple acetic acid or we can have this acid in which the H groups have been replaced with one or two hydrocarbon R groups.